that bottom body made it happen. I don't need no friends for me to my Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burt, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. Kuzma will step in at the four with Porzingis at center. Morris and Beal are the guards. And it's Kispert in at small forward. Andre Drummond is out there with Barnes. Then it's B.J. Armstrong. Then it's LeBron James. And it's Jordan in at the two. And so off the tip, it's Washington's ball. Beal against Jordan. Beal can't get it to go. GA, he's asked to carry a big time scoring lead. But Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown. And his playmaking, when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. And it's Washington's ball. Old team ball. B.J. Armstrong. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Kuzma finds Morris. Side for Zingas. Pocket six. A three pointer off the mark. James right side. Over Kispert. LeBron shot is off. We play just over a minute here in the first. And it's sent back by Drummond. Well, there are certain guys you probably don't want to challenge. Andre Drummond sends it back. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Bradley Beal. First personal foul. First team foul. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. LeBron James at the line for one. Free throw good, LeBron. It is really so impressive how LeBron James continues to play at a high level. We all respect greatness. What is the hardest thing to achieve is sustain greatness, and that's LeBron James. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. No good that time. And Washington the other way now. Passes it to be inside. Morris finds Beal. Back to Morris. The three. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. And here's LeBron outside. Washington with the rebound. Morris looking over the floor. And the rejection by James. Well, just impressive defense by LeBron James. Such a good feel on that end of the floor. Track that shot all the way. McDaniels checked in for James. Kuzma passes to Kispert. The Wizards working the ball around now. Porzingis with a screen on Armstrong. Morris drops in the layup for two. Morris has got five now. 
And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's McDaniel after the basket by Washington. Jordan dishes to Armstrong. From outside the arc. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. And it's Kuzma with the ball for Washington. To the inside. And Kuzma slams it in. Throw down from Kyle Kuzma. A level of aggression. It seemed like 2022 was all about showing up naysayers for Kyle Kuzma. It did seem, Greg, like he came into his own a little bit, found his identity as a player. I think those challenges he got from the fans only made him better, really fired up the Kuz. 139 left to play here in the first. So timeout called here, the first for the Wizards. For viewers, timeout's a, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the team, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Getting ready to come in for Washington. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Przingis. Hachimura comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Abdiev's checked in for Kispert. And Barton subbed in for Bradley Beal. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Gafford kicks to Abdiev. Barton in the corner. Three pointer. McDaniel grabs the miss. Outside, Jones. From deep. Rebounded by the Wizards. Avdia with it. He's picked up by Morant. Avdia gets the bucket. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And Shaq with the slam. Uh, the strength of O'Neal uh, is otherworldly. It's Barton on the wing, defended by Jones. Morris against Morant. Out to the right wing. Down low, five to shoot. Gafford passes to Barton. From outside, off the mark. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's Morant. He nails it, and we're tied up. And it just seems like Morant is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off for him there inside. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Stripped away. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. He got it up. So it's a tie game as we end the first. The second quarter coming up right after this break. So don't go anywhere. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. So on the floor for Washington, Morris and Beal are the guards. Davis is out there with Gill. And it's Carey in at the center, filling out the middle. Well, that's Scotty Barnes doing one of the things he does best, getting after the offensive glass. 
Here's Gill, following the basket by Scotty Barnes. Carey passes to Beal. Here's Gill. Shot clock at six. And they double up Davis. Scotty's check in for McDaniel. First team foul. Coming out of the floor for your home team, Dennis Scott. So it's the Wizards now. Trailing by two. There's the pick. Morris with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. And it's sent back by Drummond. Barnes down low. He's covered by Gill. The shot goes up. You've got to put a body on Andre Drummond. This guy's so good off the offensive window. Here's Morris. He's got five. Has to be it. Morris with a screen on Jones. Here's Beal. And Barnes sends it back. To the middle. Here's Jones. And he uses the glass on the layup. When you have vision at the forward spot, it always opens up and elevates a team. Scotty Barnes passing on display. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. And Scotty Barnes, the Rookie of the Year in 2022 in the NBA. And you could argue he was maybe the biggest surprise of the 21 draft. Made a huge impact on the floor immediately. If you did a redraft of that class, he'd be closer to the top. And here's Armstrong. No points in the game yet for him. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Off target with his three. Washington trails by four. Morris with the ball. And the pass to Gill. Beal deciding where to go with it. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Jordan, he's checked in for Jones. Then for the Wizards, Kyle Kuzma comes in for Gill. And Kispert subbed in for Davis. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Zinkis, he's checked in for the Wizards. That's tipped, pushing it up. Here's Truman, and Truman throws it down. Well, how about the anticipation by Andre Truman? Triggers the fast break by his ability to steal one. Quarter two, and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Beal against Jordan. To the left wing. Here's Kispert. And the call on the shot. That sends him to the line. Of course, I've heard many times Corey Kispert talk about how glad he was to stay at Gonzaga for his senior year. Kev, his perspective was so great. What he said was he treated that season as a, quote, runway to the NBA. And that's what it proved to be. He improved in almost every phase of the game and went from a likely second-round pick to top 15. That is tremendous. Wizards making a switch here. Barton has checked in. He hits the second from the line. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Now Armstrong. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Count it. It's a tall challenge trying to contain Shaq, especially when he's operating close to the basket. And the next one puts him in the bonus. B.J. Armstrong. John Moran, he's checked in for B.J. Armstrong.
for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Morris against Morant. Morris into the lane. Six to shoot. The Wizards with another miss. James in the post. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. The strength of LeBron is something that is never going to go away, and it will always allow him to finish plays like that. Hachimura, he's checked in for the Wizards. Avdia comes in for Kispert. Doors, when it comes to Avdia, a guy that does a number of things very well. He does, Kevin. I think when you think of Avdia, what you think is free tool player. Score, rebound, pass it. For Denny, to me, it's all about being more consistent. It is clear this guy has a ton of talent and potential. Now can you do it night after night after night? Now, here's Avdia after LeBron James's miss. Morris against Jordan. Up top, Hachimura. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Morris, no good. Morris has gone two for five tonight. Here's James, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And making it look easy. LeBron overwhelms the defense inside. Second team foul. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Brzingis. Free throw, no good for LeBron. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. 11-point game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's his first foul. Morant against Morris. Hachimura, the screen. Shoots from 12. That one off the back iron and out. Morris has gone 2 of 6 here tonight from the field. LeBron with it. And Hachimura picks him up defensively. Pass to James. Fires the three. Avdia with the rebound. Washington trails by 11. The Wizards have gone 1 for 2 on the night so far from the line. That one is off. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Here's Jones, and the shot is good. Jones has got four this quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. They lead by 13. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be they've got LeBron James Barnes out there with Andre Drummond then there's Armstrong and it's Jordan in at the two guard spot that's the group for Michael Malone getting going here in the second half and the D getting out work there on the putback can't let that happen 
you have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box out. And Morris throws it down. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play could spark his group. Here's Armstrong after the basket by Washington. Zingas with the steal. Kuzma inside. Arms on him, and he makes that one. Beal's got his second bucket. Well, this is how Bradley Beal just makes it impossible to guard him. Three-level scorer. This time he goes to the inside game. About one minute played here in the second half. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above. Seven feet. Out of bounds. Washington takes possession. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7-2 and up, not great. And, and today's game demands more movement from big men than ever before. Washington trails by 11. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. To the paint. Here's Persingas. That's good. And Zobiel with the assist. Well, as the roll man in the pick and roll game, Porzingis at his size can make a career out of this play. LeBron outside, lets it go with a three. And there's a whistle that goes on Scotty Barnes. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Washington. They trail by nine points. Morris passes to Persingas. Beal against Jordan. The shot by Beal, no good. Beal's gone, just two or six shooting, 33%. Here's Jordan, and it goes right over Kyle Kuzma and slams it down. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Armstrong against Morris. Beal with a screen for Morris. And again, Washington, no good. Morris has gotten three of his eight shots to go, around 37%. Rzingas with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Kuzma's got it. And he banks in the layup. When your teammate makes a steal, your first thought is, I'm sprinting the floor. Kyle Kuzma does just that. Kuzma's gone two or three from the field. Armstrong against Morris. Armstrong gets the bucket. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Armstrong against Morris. DJ Armstrong. Both teams will make substitutions. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Here's Beal, and a miss there off the inbound. Confident play we're seeing out of him. Yeah, and the scoreboard tells the story. Armstrong gets the bucket. Always helps to get these kinds of looks, right? Super easy to convert from that distance. Three minutes gone now minutes in the third quarter. Two minutes. Morris against Armstrong. Morris with the screen for Kuzma. To the middle, here's Gibson, and it's Gibson finishing it off. Well, you combine size, aggression, and toughness, and you get Taj Gibson. My goodness, nicely done.
Here's Armstrong. He's got five. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And Truman throws it down. It'd be nice if everybody took as much pride in his rebounding as he does. You know what, I, Greg, he loves that part of the game. And it shows. Well, but as defenders keep forgetting to box him out, he continues to just make them pay. Beal against Jones. Got that one up quick. Beal's got four points now in the quarter. Well, this is the sweet spot of Bradley Beal's game. That in-between, that mid-range jumper is money. Armstrong with it. Now guarded by Gibson. Davis looking for an opening. Off target from three-point range. Well, they are daring him to miss, and he obliges. Gibson with the steal. To the inside. And Kuzma gets it to go on the assist from Beal. Kuzma's got six. Kyle Kuzma doing work in the painted area. That's beautiful. Here's Armstrong. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Taj Gibson picks one up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Gibson. Hachimura comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Avdias checked in for Davis. And Barton subbed in for Beal. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Here's Avdia. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barton. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Twenty-four seconds left here in the third quarter. And that one's good by Shaq. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Jones against Barton. Pass to Hachimura. Tries again, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for the Wizards, Will Barton at the line for two. Shooting two. That free throw good from Barton. Both free throws good from Barton. And here's Armstrong. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Up by 12. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Taking a look at the Wizards. Hachimura and Porzingis, the post pair for them. Bill Barton is out there with Morris. And it's Kispert in at the three. Armstrong with it. Barnes left side. Dishes it to Jordan. Now Armstrong. They get it back. O'Neal. Porzingis with the block. 
a swat by Porzingis. That wingspan letting you know he's in the house. And he goes out of bounds. That went off Porzingis. Andre Drummond's checked in for Shaq. Then for the Wizards, Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Rui Hachimura. And Beal subbed in for Will Barton. Barnes kicks to Armstrong. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Washington. It's a 10-point game. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. That's foul number two for him. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Back to Morris. Down low. Here's Kispert. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Morris has got three assists in the game. Armstrong against Morris. And it's Armstrong missing. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And that's money from Beal. He's so crafty at finding space in that deep corner. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question. He got bumped on that shot. That free throw, no good. James checked in for McDaniel. No good on the second free throw. And a player opt-out for Kyle Kuzma after this season. G.A. probably hoping to earn himself a raise. Yeah, and he's a worker looking to round out his game and take that next step as he's just entering his prime. Here's Brzingis. Pass to Kuzma. Barnes gets a hand on Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Armstrong drains it from beyond the arc. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. with an update from the sideline. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey guys, I had a chance to find out what Wes Ensel Jr. discussed with his players. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Kevin will see if they can make that adjustment. All right, David, thanks. Now here's Beal. Now the pass to Persingas. He kicks to Kispert. There's Beal with the three. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got his fifth rebound in this one. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here's Drummond. And three from Jordan. Washington with the rebound. Persingas has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Beal. Bank shot. No good. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea to just give themselves a little bit of a break. How about the determination? Now that's what we call competing for a rebound. Kuzma passes to Beal. Brzingis trying to get free. And another miss by Washington. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. A three from LeBron sinks the three-pointer. Since being drafted out of high school, I don't think there's an aspect of LeBron's game that has improved more than his shooting. It has become a strength. Now here's Beal. Beal with another miss. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. And that one's good, Barnes. Boy, Scotty Barnes, the complete package. Nice interior finish there. Jordan against Beal. To stop the run. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Inside. Kicks it out to Jordan. 
pass to Armstrong. This one for three. Porzingis with the rebound. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Man. Does somebody want to get on the ease up off the three? Washington calls timeout. They're trailing by 13. And uh, 101 left in the fourth quarter. And uh, 101 left in the fourth quarter of this one. On the subject of trade rumors year after year, Beal has the skill set every team is looking for. Well, he's elite at scoring the basketball, and he understands when and how to create for the players around him. There's only a handful of guys in this league who can do what he does with his level of consistency. Now here's Barnes. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the back break. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. And that one misses. Boy, guys, when you think about the prototypical modern wing, Scotty Barnes, the reigning rookie of the year, certainly fits that mold, already proving to be a well-rounded two-way player. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Passes to Barnes. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. And good that time. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Taj Gibson's checked in for Przingis. Hill comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Davis is checked in for Kisper. And Barton subbed in for Bradley Beal. Now here's James. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Silas passes to Morant. Offline with his three. Left side, Davis. That one, no good. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alders, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long.